Animals suffer harm at the hands of plastic bags in a number of ways. Many animals, including both terrestrial and aquatic varieties, eat plastic bags and suffer from serious health problems once they do. A significant number of cows, for example, die each year after eating plastic bags that end up in their grazing grounds. This has been a particularly big problem in India, where cows are numerous and trash collections sporadic. Even in urban areas where wildlife is relatively scarce, plastic bags cause significant environmental harm. Line of water collects and carries discard plastic bags and ultimately wash them into storm severs. Once in these severs, the bags often form crumbs with other types of debris and ultimately blocks the flow of water. This prevents runoff water from properly draining, which often inconveniences those living or working in the area. There isn't much of a debate about the aesthetic impact plastic bags have on the environment. The vast majority of people would agree that plastic bags ruin the appearance of just about every imaginable habitat, from forests and fields to deserts and wetlands. But this aesthetic deterioration isn't a frivolous concern. It can actually have a significant impact on human health, cultures, and the economy. Scientists have long known that views of natural landscapes provide a wealth of benefits. Among other things, natural habitats and green space help to reduce recovery times and improve outcomes of hospital patients. They help to improve focus and concentration among children. They help to reduce crimes and they help to increase property values. But when these same habitats are literally with plastic bags, and other type of debris, these benefits are reduced. It is difficult to grasp the scope of plastic bag problem. Despite the ubiquities of plastic bags in the landscape, no one knows exactly how many bags are littering the planet, but researchers estimate that 500 billion use around the globe each year. A small percentage of these end up being recycled, and some people try to reuse old plastic bags for other purposes. But the vast majority of plastic bags are used as single times. Many are discarded into the trash, but a significant percentage end up polluting natural habitats. Our group chose to form up a project called Zero Plastic Bags Campus. This project is to warn or notice the student or author staff not to use the plastic bags and say no when the convenience store asks them whether they will accept the plastic bags or not. If they choose to say no to plastic bags, we will provide the candy as a gift.
In summary, from 100 students that we were before entering the store, 81 of them choose to say no to plastic bags, and in conclusion, our group project is successful.